Mm, that's quite tasty. Do you think risotto is hard to make? Well, let me show you how you can make this risotto here with no need for a sharp knife and minimal stirring. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Easy Healthy Tasty. My name's Charity. Um, welcome to my kitchen. And tonight we're going to be cooking a risotto, but now normally when you cook risotto, you spend a whole lot of time stirring and stirring uh, over your pan. But tonight we're not gonna do much of that at all. Now I have, I have started a little bit already. All I have in my pan at the moment, I've got my big heavy cast iron pot that can go in the oven because that's important for this recipe. And all I've done is I added a, just over a cup of frozen chopped onion to the pan while it was still cold. After I put in, I put in a little bit of oil, then I put in a cup and a bit of frozen uh, chopped onion. And now I'm just kind of letting that cook off for just a minute. Um, and I wanted to do that before we got started today because hopefully by now you've seen us do that um, quite a few times in our no chop recipes. And this is a no chop recipe today as well. So this has been going for a minute. I'm gonna say it's good enough. So let's get into it. We're going to be making a chicken and pumpkin risotto tonight. You can, there's so many different risotto recipes out there that if you don't like chicken or you don't like pumpkin, if you just Google risotto recipes, um, you will come up with a whole heap of different, a whole heap of different flavor combinations. And the recipe that we use tonight should work with most of those. Having said that, I will warn you now, I couldn't quite get everything when I went to the supermarket. Uh, so this is one of those recipes where we're going to try something else that I hope will work and we'll find out together if it does or if it doesn't. So we've got our onion cooking away here and I'm going to add 500 grams of diced chicken. I'm just gonna turn the heat up because I just wanna cook this off a little bit. So we're just going to seal off this chicken to try and keep the moisture in while it cooks into the risotto. Now, if you do try this recipe, please let us know how it goes, uh, especially if you manage to find all of the ingredients uh, and make it a little bit differently to how we're gonna make it tonight. So this chicken's just gonna cook for a moment and then we're going to add a couple of things and then we're pretty much done. Uh, it really is a super simple recipe. No chop, minimal stirring. We had to do a little bit of stirring in this first bit, but after that, there's none of that stirring and stirring and stirring while you add the stock, uh, which we, you would do in a, in a traditional risotto recipe. I'm gonna say that's good enough. To that, I'm going to add about a kilo of pumpkin and or sweet potato. Now, I wanted to show you a couple of different products that I found in the supermarket a couple of weeks ago, and I thought well, tonight would be a perfect time to use them. So in my, at my local Woolies, they've got a section where you can buy a whole heap of different pre-chopped fresh vegetables. And this is one of them. So this is a pumpkin and sweet potato mix and there's about 500 grams in this container here. But if you don't like sweet potato, then by all means just choose pumpkin, that's fine. So we're going to put, we're going to literally just dump this in. And I want to show you that you can also get in the freezer section um, at the moment at Woolies again because that's where I went today a whole heap of different frozen pre-chopped vegetables and so this is a pumpkin and it's 500 grams of pumpkin and it cost about the same as the fresh one so you could use either or but if you wanted to have the ingredients on hand ready to go not necessarily today but at another time then this would be a great way of doing that you can just buy this keep it in the freezer and use it when you're ready. Now, I didn't cut this bag open, but that's okay. I will rip it open. So we're going to add that. And now comes the bit where I explain to you what I couldn't find at the supermarket. And that is really the thing that makes risotto risotto, which is arborio rice. So, 
when you're going shopping if you're going to make this recipe I would encourage you to buy a Boreo rice I couldn't find that and so I had a look at what different rices were available in the supermarket and pretty much everything except a Boreo rice was there today now I'm not sure if I'm going to get the right texture with what I chose either but um, I went back to my trusty brown rice and quinoa mix that I found when the supermarket shelves were pretty bare um, over the uh, panic buying phase that we had a few months ago and I thought well let's give that a go because I know that that will take a while to cook um, and I, I'm hoping that it'll give me maybe not exactly the same texture as a, as a risotto would but I'm hoping it'll be pretty tasty and and be close enough so we're going to add two cups of this mix and don't worry I did buy an extra bag so that's that's close enough to one one cup of this one now the reason I thought this might work is because it takes a little bit longer to cook than your standard white rice and it's still got a bit of a bitey texture to it even when it is cooked so I'm just going to stir that through and now I'm going to add six cups of chicken stock I've chosen a salt reduced chicken stock uh, because as a dietitian it's generally speaking most of us have more than enough salt in our diets and so if we can choose salt reduced products it's it's usually a better choice from a health point of view we'll give that a bit of a stir mix it through and now this is the bit where this becomes minimal stir I'm going to bring this back up to the boil and then I'm going to put my lid back on and I'm going to put this in the oven it's 190 degrees for I'm going to guess it'll be somewhere around 30 maybe 40 minutes until the rice is cooked and has absorbed most of that liquid so I've had this in the oven for uh, probably well, maybe 40, 40 or 50 minutes in the end. I thought it was going to take 30 or 40. It took a bit longer. I think the problem was I just had a bit too much liquid in there. So for the last 10 minutes or so, I have had the lid slightly ajar to try and reduce it down a little bit. So I think probably you only need four, four or five cups of liquid if you're using this kind of rice in this recipe with that much pumpkin added to it. So now all we need to do is mix through some cheese to make this a real risotto. Now you can add however much cheese you want. I'm adding some grated parmesan here. I'm going to start with half a cup of grated parmesan and see ish anyway and see how we go from there. This the parmesan bit here that you're adding it's a bit to taste so some people will like it really cheesy and they might want quite a bit more cheese than I personally do uh, but if you're if you've got a family where there's different levels of of, of cheese uh, that people like this is a great recipe for that because I can mix through just a small amount now and that will be good for me because I'm not a big cheese fan but my husband can mix in some extra into his portion if he wants to uh, and same with my children if they would like it a bit more cheesy then that's something that they can easily add a little bit extra of so you can see here now I'll have to get a spoon and have a taste in a second but it's looking a bit silky it's looking it's looking very pumpkin-y but that's fine from my point of view I'll just grab a little spoon and we'll have a taste very very hot straight out of the oven mm, that's quite tasty so to serve this up I've got a plate you could use a bowl really it's up to you and I would serve it with some extra vegetables so I've just got over here this is just a frozen vegetable mix that I put through oh, it's not even sitting properly there is it that I put in the microwave you could add peas or something like that directly to the 
to the pot if you wanted to. Um, but otherwise, just microwave yourself some green veggies, serve it on the side, and dinner is served. Have a great evening, and we will catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.